so this car talk may be just a touch quicker than normal. I'm not gonna do my typical deal and like drive around back and forth and then get to the gym once the chat's over. I'll, uh, I just gotta go straight there. But basic plan once I turn on, yeah, there we go, get some face tracking going. But chest, 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 chest. On my last chest day, I could tell that my left pec where I had kind of um, pulled it before, felt just a little funky. Like it didn't feel like I re-pulled it, but something about it felt just slightly off in a way. So that's making me think that for today's chest day, I wanna be just a touch more reserved with the weight. So I don't think I'm gonna start with incline barbell. I might just start with something else, but even if it does have to be a slightly lighter chest day, just so I don't, you know, pull anything, because I'm picking up just a little bit of the heebie-jeebies, I'm still going to make it a, a, uh, a hard lift, for sure. So, cable presses, cable flies, pec deck, machine press, that's pretty much it. But, it'll still be good. So, morning weight, unknown, I did not weigh myself this morning, but I will tomorrow morning. Honestly, this is kind of be, going to be a little bit of a rushed lift. Not like rushed for me, but I'm not going to have so much time for too much chit chat in between sets. So I think I, um, I think I'll add the drive to cardio tomorrow, just for a little extra something something. But don't worry. In terms of the end, well, I keep saying don't worry. Uh, but whatever. In terms of the end of the bulk, it is not over. We might only be halfway there. Right? I, um, I'll i see comments and it's like, three months of a bulk, that's way too freaking long. You gotta cut down. And, I mean, it's... How'd you come up with that time frame, you know? It doesn't make any sense to me. Right? The whole point of the bulk, for me, at least, no matter how long or short it takes is to gain as much muscle as I can and go. And then once I'm completely plateaued and I can't force down any more food or you know I just can't push anymore and my fucking appetite's gone to shit, weight just isn't going on the scale anymore, then that's when I'm gonna say, all right, I think it's probably time to diet down, reset my appetite, lose a little bit of this excess body fat that I've put on. And then once that mini cut is done, start again from scratch so whether that, if I mean if that only took two months if in two months I could gain 50 pounds and then be plateaued then that's what I would do that'd be fucking sick uh, but at least in reality for me it takes a touch longer than that so even if I get into the you know six month or even seventh month 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 range as long as I'm still actually gaining weight I'm fine with it. I got no freaking problem. So, 6.20 on a Saturday evening. A cold Saturday evening, that is. I doubt it'll be too packed. So, let's just, uh, I'll get in there and warm up a little bit. And then we can jump to whatever the first working set ends up being. Three plates on this chest press should feel pretty good as the first set. Let's just spam these for a little.
since I'm not going so heavy with the weight today, I think I may do a little bit extra volume. Yeah. 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 Let's do a few more. Okay. Let's drop the weight. Do one more here. And then do some cable flies, I think. Okay. Okay. This felt really good today. Let's move on to some kind of cable something. Maybe pec deck, to be determined. I think full stack of the plate is just about what the doctor ordered. That might be a little too heavy. Let's just do the basic stack. Uh, hmm. I think I'll do some tempo reps for this set. So instead of one, two, I'll go halfway, pause, and then finish. Do that for maybe 10 or 12, and then burn out with standard, you know, normal reps. I think that's it. We're done. Let's go pose down. Real simple chest day. All right, let's get the exposure down just a touch. There we go. So how are we looking? Let's say, I mean, how many sets of chest posts were that? Like five, four, and then just two sets of flies? Obviously not a ton, but enough where I feel like I did some serious work. I can definitely tell I was doing those um, chest presses a little better than normal. I wasn't getting so much front belt activation. Still a little, but less than normal. Come on. Right. I wish I would have weighed myself this morning. What do you think? Pumped? <laughs> I know that's a stupid question. Oh my goodness. Oh. Successful chest day. So now all I gotta do is go home and chow down and fucking pass out. Perfect. All right, so quick, quick but good. Quick but good chest day. Whew. I did not mind just sitting there spamming those um, hammer strength presses. Oof. I uh, So when I was warming up, I did try four plates 
you know, I put floor plates on it, but that was a little too heavy for me. I've been lacking in my progressive overload aspect of chest because I keep tweaking my shift. So part of any kind of strength, I think it's, it does not, well, it definitely has something to do with just being constantly exposed, you know? So that's when I've squatted the heaviest was when I would squat every leg day consistently and it didn't fucking, you know, hurt my adductors or whatever else. But I do think that it's a solid vector of fucking progress. So I want to make sure that my lifts get heavier and heavier and heavier within reason as time progresses. So once one of these 10 bazillion cars decides to leave me an opening, I'm going to turn right and head back to the crib. Yeah, I mean, not much else to say. Tomorrow's going to be a back day. Cardio in the morning, of course. I think I'm going to probably add a cardio car talk after this one. So don't uh, don't be alarmed. This video isn't just going to end this quickly. But what month is it now? February? We're, about a, we're past the month and a half point. Have you been grinding this year? Have you been grinding? More than likely, I mean, I'm just, I'm not saying you, but the general population, no. More than likely, the general population has not been grinding. Uh, this is something I, every New Year's and every, you know, towards the end of the year is when I usually talk about this shit. But every TikTok and Instagram post where it's like 2023 was our warm up. 2024 is where we kill it. 2024 is when we start taking souls. You know, like... You know what I hate about that? Is the sentiment is there. The sentiment of that idea is pretty fucking cool. Like, it doesn't matter how the past, you know, has played out. Right? You've got time now to make some serious moves. But... And everybody who's posting that kind of shit and everybody watching it and liking it and being like, yeah, fuck yeah. 2024 is my year. I mean, 90% of the people commenting that, <laughs> they're just straight up fucking lying. You know? uh, which, it's not surprising, but it is upsetting. You, know? you hate to see it. But the reason why I say that is because every year, fucking without fail, these posts start to resurface. You know, in fucking 10 years, the same guys who were posting like 2019 was our warm up. 2024 is where we take the spotlight. They're going to be posting the same thing every year, every fucking year, man. And part of it, uh, I'm not saying this is true for everyone, but something I kind of believe in a way is that it's a lot of talk, right? Talk is cheap. Everybody's got a fucking mouth. Everybody can text on their fucking phone and say whatever, you know, it's, um, oh, like I see these posts of you know, intermediate, moderate lifters, whatever. Of course, I'm going to relate it back to lifting and they're like, this bulk, we're going to go fucking crazy. Uh, fuck, I'm going to hit 315. In my mind, saying something like that, the stronger that you try to affirm and like say and try to show other people like this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this I'm gonna in a way I mean not in a way I definitely feel like all you're doing is kind of manifesting your insecurity with what whatever that goal is and you're trying to tell the universe like hey I, I'm not lying about it I can do it of course I can it's like the stronger you defend yourself the more reason that you have something to defend in a sense I think the guys who are actually going to bench 315 aren't posting about it. I think the guys who are actually going to get above 200 pounds aren't posting about it. You know, they just fucking do it. And I know this is stupid for me to say because I fucking post a YouTube video of my workouts every fucking day. But you shouldn't do this shit to show off. Like, I don't think anybody has built a really awesome physique if their primary goal is like, okay, I want to be 
an awesome fitness influencer. Uh, I don't see that as a very good fucking motivational force. You know? Like, if that's your goal, ah, that's, like, whatever, I'm not going to, your goals are your goals. You know, that's your own mindset. Don't let me invalidate you. But, I don't know. That's not how I came up, honestly. Before I started posting anything, in my mind, I'm kind of hating on other influencers. Like, back when I was just a regular Joe lifter, I'm like, look at these fuckers just fucking posting a workout. I'm lifting harder than you. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of... Honestly, looking back now, it's kind of strange that I ended up posting all this shit. At least, you know, based on how my what my mentality was like back then. Uh, but you're going to be so much more fucking satisfied if you're doing all these lifts because you like it. Right? So pick a routine you enjoy. Set some goals which aren't like you know a roundabout way to satisfaction you know direct satisfaction i think is much stronger of a motivation you know the guy who says okay i want to grow muscle because it's going to make me feel good i like it i like the idea of big, being big and strong i like the process i like making gains you know it's kind of proven to me that i can really do something they like it that guy's gonna get way fucking bigger and he's gonna have a way better time doing it than the dude who's like okay I want to show them once they see that I'm big then I'll be happy then uh, that'll make me feel good to, to to show other people that I can you know really I'm just trying to say be a little bit more based right doing things for anybody else's opinions or you know to try to please anybody else or to try to get one over on somebody else uh, it's just not an awesome approach not in my mind in a sense it feels a little bit petty you know now if that's your initial motivator right maybe uh, I mean let's just say classic trope this doesn't really happen as much now if I can kids aren't as big and cool as they were back you know in the early 2000s but classic trope uh, your girlfriend leaves you for the jock I mean, you get the idea, something like that. That guy, if he starts going to the gym, yeah, pretty legit. It's probably going to make him feel better to be bigger because of that. But in the process of going, I would hope that he would kind of realize, like, oh, shit, the gym is fucking cool. I like this shit. And then just, you know, do it just because he likes it. you got to remember, the best revenge is no revenge. We're talking about some Thorfinn, stronger mentality stoicism type vibes here right so that's really what i'm i may not be putting it into words as well as i could kind of like envision in my mind but i think i wouldn't say i'm spoiled but i would say i'm very lucky that no matter what i have planned no matter what's going on like you know outings fucking little like day trips or uh, just fucking hangouts, whatever. No matter what I have planned for the day with whoever, I always have something, a period of time, when I go do my lift, where I'm like, all right, this is going to be fun. I'm excited to do this. You know, It's good to have something on your schedule like that. To have something which you like, you can exert yourself, and you can make long-term progress with, I think that is just the way to fucking do it, man. You gotta remember, people weren't meant to just sit around and fucking pop zins and scroll on TikTok. That was, <laughs> that's at least not how we evolved, right? We were raised running out in the wild, fucking hunting shit, getting, getting adrenaline rushes from, you know, catching stuff. Come on, man. Don't forget, we're not that much different, if different at all, than... You know, all of the fucking tribal characters that were running around like 10,000 years ago. Genetically, <laughs> very fucking similar, right? So, who do you think is going to have a better time? Just with life. Just with s subjective enjoyment of life. The guy who sits around all day, does jack, like plays on his phone or like does some work or whatever, but, you know, doesn't really push it. Or, the guy who kind of runs around a little 
And I'm not saying you have to be like a fucking muscle freak in the gym, pushing as much weight as possible. Just fucking being active in general, you know. Really, I'm just trying to rip on the sedentary lifestyle that everybody's uh, picking up because we're all so dopamine dependent. And I tell you what, seeing, seeing videos of people walking around with an Apple Vision, uh, that does not make me any more comfortable with the way that things are fucking headed. So fight this technological dystopia that we're moving into. Maybe don't get a Neuralink implanted. Just fucking go outside a little bit. So I was going to end with one more statement. I had one more phrase. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is... I, oh, I say this all the fucking time. Let's say you have two dogs. You have two fucking dogs in your house. Right? One of them, he gets up, he, you take the ball outside, throw, running back and forth, fucking sprinting all out. He's huffing and puffing. He's having a good time. Right? He's in shape. And then, let's say you get another dog, and your other dog, he just, he just sits there all day. He doesn't run around, you know, he gets up and he eats and he goes to the bathroom and uh, he's got a little chew toy and he just sits there and kind of squeaks it. And that's what he does all day. Would you not think that he's got some kind of problem? Right? I would. I would say, man, what a... He should get outside more. He should move around more. Guess what, man? That could be, maybe not you if you're watching this video, but that's people. Sit around all day, eat your food, do whatever. Squeak your toy. Of course, for us, our toys are more complex. It's a, it's more of a dopamine surging, swiping cesspool of brain rot. But it's the same thing, you know? If you look at a dog like that, you'd say, man, he needs to get outside and move around more. But people don't hold themselves to the same standards, I guess. So. I think that's all I got. That's all I got with this fucking postcard talk. But on a more direct note, solid chest day, nice and pumped. Honestly, I still feel a little bit pumped now, even though it's been like fucking 30 minutes. I had a little bit of chatting after the lift. So, what else can I fucking ask for? I've just been driving around circles. Uh, so, I'm gonna go get to the house, talk to little bro he came back for the weekend too and then i think let's just cut to tomorrow morning when i head into do cardio i'll probably sit in the sauna too uh but you're not gonna see that